What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time of course we're taking a look at our boy DSP's daily rap video posted last night after what I am titling the day of rage slash wage quitting. That's right folks, our boy Phil rage quit Spider-Man. Yep, I'm calling it, it's a rage quit. It, it's just a rage quit, he didn't complete it, I don't care how far he got. And of course we all know that Phil rage and slash wage quit super mario brothers last night that's right super mario's decided it thought it was dark souls and made the final boss way too hard for phil so phil tried for a little bit and of course it's just too much work he's too old for this and decided to rage slash wage quit that's right he barely made 20 bucks no memberships barely any super chats phil was frustrated and he quit the game that's right folks so let's see what Phil had to say. Let, he basically, it was a 13 minute video explaining why he didn't technically rage quit, which of course we all know he did. So let's see what Phil has to say. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Monday the 13th of November, 2023, also known as Game Completion Day, because today I wrapped up not one, but two ongoing playthroughs that I've been playing pretty much over the last three weeks to month. Um, notably, Marvel Spider-Man 2, as well as Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And <clears throat> by the way, notice he said wrapped up. He did not say complete because he did not complete either game. I'm sorry, he did not complete either game. By the term complete, it means he completed the game from beginning to end. It's all done. He did neither with Spider Pig and he did neither with Super Mario Brothers. That's right. It was so pathetic. He actually had to do an hour of Q&A, Q and beg session after the fact uh, just to raise some money. And you could tell he was very frustrated that he made no money whatsoever yesterday. And that's why he decided to wage quit the game. I'm calling Super Mario Brothers a wage quit. That was more of a wage quit because... We all know Super Mario Brothers had made no money whatsoever. Uh, that that was a wage quit. The Spider Pig was a rage quit. So let's keep going. What I'd like to briefly do here in this video is recap my experience with each game, uh, how far I got with each one, you know, what I did and didn't do, and uh, what I thought overall. Although I will give more in-depth thoughts about these games tomorrow on the Level 1 Podcast, so if you want more of a full review with more extrapolation, check that out tomorrow morning. Um, I literally feel like doing a whole other stream of swinging through the city just looking for spider bots. I felt it was stupid. Um, in addition, there's one more mission at the end of the game. The EMF research mission that doesn't unlock till the end after you've beaten the game. I didn't do that because, again, you know, since I, I'm not going to 100% it unless I spend another two hours swinging through the city looking for spider bots, there was no point in doing that either. So I did finish the full story and almost all the content of the game. End of the day, it's a great game with a few flaws but the flaws can easily be glossed over because the game is so good. Absolutely one of the best superhero games ever made. Uh, I will talk more in depth about that tomorrow, but I'm happy we beat it. I stayed late to do it. The game playthrough is now complete, okay? <clears throat> That's right, and I'm gonna tell you what the flaws are. The flaws are, are the uh, support mechanics of the game. That's right. The support mechanics as Phil didn't make enough money on this playthrough. He made one decent uh money uh on spider-man and that was because he was sick and he came back and he got that big support of like 250 bucks that's it other than that there has been absolutely no support whatsoever for spider-man and that is the reason why he wrapped it up he didn't complete it he wrapped it up because of course the money wasn't right and when the money isn't right phil is not going to waste any time uh with with the game so that is the truth uh, I, I just, you know, uh, un, I, I explained the pignosis that Phil tried to explain with Spider Pig right here. He, he, he wrapped it up because there was no money in it and he wanted to move on because we all know that uh, Modern Wealth, uh, not Modern Warfare, uh, Warzone will save the channel and also uh, what's that other garbage game he's going to play, Like a Dragon? That will definitely save the channel. So he has to move on to games that possibly can bring him more money. Uh, but we all know what, what what's going to result of that. Tonight on the late stream, it was Super Mario Wonder, and I was also trying to complete that game, and to my knowledge, I had three to four stages left, and that was going to unlock the true, super, ultra, final, challenging stage, and I figured, oh, I'll beat it all in like an hour, we'll have it done, right? So here's what really happened. The four stages that the Bowser stages, you know, the last World, World 7, or whatever, the central petal isles with the Bowser castle, were really easy. There's maybe a tiny bit of challenge to it, but it was so simple compared to some of the special world stages that I'd already done. It was so easy, 100% at everything. Even got, they give you like these flags to reward you or medals to reward you. So I got every coal, every purple coin, every seed, uh, every flag. Got all those. <clears throat> then I beat the Bowser stage, so I got that one. All right. So what's left? To buy every standee in the game, 
The only way you could buy standees is to buy them from vendors. It means you have to grind for purple coins. It literally means nothing. And to complete the secret final stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the secret final stage is equivalent to the crazy challenge runs that were in Rayman Origins back in the day. How many of you played Rayman Origins a long time ago? I did. I did full playthrough of that game. It is insanely challenging with some of the crazy hidden worlds and, and, and ultra challenging stages. That's essentially what the final secret stage of this game is. It's a, a badge run gauntlet. Meaning, first you have to do a super hard stage hovering with the hat. Then it goes right into a super hard stage um, where you need to do... I can't even remember the order, but it's like, oh, uh, wall jumping. Then there's a super hard stage where you're bouncing. Then there's a super hard stage where you're gliding or whatever. And there's like, it's non-stop. And the thing is, they don't give you checkpoints until every third or fourth stage. Okay? So, you could play this for like five to ten minutes, you know, going through all these hard challenges. And you beat three or four of them. And then it's like, okay, here's your checkpoint. All right, but now you got to beat three or four more in a row. Now, I had like 20 lives going into it. I tried as hard as I could. And, you know, keep in mind, I'm battling because I don't have a good controller for the Switch. I just don't have a good controller with a good D-pad. It's My D-pad is crap, okay? I think I want to say I got through seven straight stages with only one checkpoint in between. And then I ran out of lives. And I was like, well, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Let me just try it one more time with Yoshi. Because Yoshi technically can't run out of lives, I thought. But I was wrong. All that happens with Yoshi is he gets an artificial hovering in his air, which I didn't know. And <clears throat> basically, he doesn't take damage from enemies or traps, but he could still instantly die by falling, and he still runs out alive. So even after retrying the stage again, a second time with Yoshi, um, I got slightly further, and I still couldn't get any further. I still died. I was like, so essentially what they want me to do is they want me to go back, and they want me to, to grind, because if you get 300 purple coins, you can now buy 99 lives at the vendor in Special World. So they want me to go back and grind to get 99 coins, well, 300 purple coins. Then they want me to go to this vendor and buy 99 lives. And then they expect me to sit there for two to three hours, because that's probably how long it would take to do this stage, and perfect every single part of it. Because again, when you die and you go back to the checkpoint, you got to beat those challenges over again. So it's like, okay, I'm really having a hard time with the spring jump challenge because you instantly die to these fireball wands or fireball arms that are going around. So it's tough. I die. Okay, well, first you got to redo <coughs> the... Uh, dashing, run, jump, no, the crouch jump challenge. Then you got to redo the wall jump challenge. If you, then you got to get back to the spring jump challenge to even have a chance to do it. And you got to do it flawlessly. And if you die, you got to go back two challenges. I don't want to do this anymore. It's too much of a grind. It's too annoying. If they had had checkpoints each challenge, it would have been fair and fun. But having the checkpoint only every third or fourth challenge and forcing you to redo multiple challenges each run that you've already beaten is atrociously bad game design. It makes it feel like the game is insanely outdated. It makes it feel like they don't respect your time, and it's very annoying. So, after doing this stage, no exaggeration, for like 30 minutes, I said, I'm done. I was like, I wanted to relax with you guys. The whole point of tonight was that we have a quick stream to finish up the remaining content, and then we relax. I'm not going to sit here for another hour, two hours doing this. This is stupid. It really was a waste of time. And I'm like, there's no pot of gold at the end of this rainbow. If I 100% this game by beating this ultra-challenging stage, no one's going to hand me a, a, a box of doubloons as a reward. No one's going to pat me on the back. I'm not going to gain accolades that Dark Side Phil completed the 100% challenge in Mario Wonder. No one cares, right? So I was like, should I torture myself further tonight, or should I chill? I said, you know what? Rather than be an idiot like I've been in the past, screw this, I'm just going to chill. So I turned it off. And of course, some people had issue with that, and I don't really care. I just don't. I'm just, I'm not... I'm 41 years old now. I want to do best of my time as much as I can. I don't feel like endlessly grinding out this challenge bullshit that does nothing and adds nothing is really going to make anyone feel special about my content, including me. I don't care. I'm not measuring my e-penis against others playing this game. I don't give a shit, okay? I loved it. I had a great time with the game. Overall, I'll, I'll talk more about it in depth about the overall game on my podcast tomorrow, but I didn't need to do it. I didn't need to beat this challenge stage. There was no point to it. There was no, no again, no reward at the end, no accolades. No one was going to give two shits if I beat it or not. The only people who really cared were people who wanted to see me suffer. I've suffered enough. So, we basically 99%ed Super Mario Brothers Wonder, and that's where it's going to stay. Okay? Um, after that, I... Ah, uh, so first of all, my apologies for letting him ramble on for five minutes, but I decided, you know, the best way to uh, expose Phil for the fraud he is is to let him talk. And I let him talk. You hear this motherfucker? And mind you, this video with 13 minutes of him trying to explain why he didn't rage quit Super Mario Brothers and Spider-Man. And I cut that shit down. And I had to speed it up because I'm not going to hear him bitch and complain 
for why he raged and wage quit two easy fucking games. Two easy fucking games. I played Spider-Man and beat that shit with no problem. It's it was basically it, it's pretty easy. It, it, superhero games are always easy. Uh, I didn't play Super Mario Brothers. My daughter played it and she beat it rather quickly and she completed it 100% Phil. So you can't even complete a Mario Brothers game. How pathetic are you, Phil? What What is it with kid games that you just can't beat? It's so sad. And I love the fact that you sit here and say, well, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm too old. I'm not going to suffer. Suffer? Suffer? You play video games for a living, you fucking bum. How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? How, how dare you, Phil? You have people that, that have to work in shit. You have people that have to work in trash. You have people that work in sewer management. You have people that that have to lay roofs in 100 degree weather. Hard working people that are tired and exhausted. And yet you're going to sit here and complain and bitch that it's too much work for you to play a video game and get paid for it. That's what you're fucking saying, Phil. You motherfucker. God, you're the laziest, laziest motherfucker in the world. You can't even play. And the thing was, you still had an hour to play it. Just finish the fucking game. Play it for the hour. And if you can't beat it, then okay. Then say, you know what? I'm not going to do another stream of this. I, I quit. And admit that you fucking quit it. Don't spend 13 minutes on your daily rap trying to compi- you know, trying to use the pignosis and explain to people why you didn't rage and wage quit. Let's be fucking honest. You quit the fucking game because nobody gave you any money for Super Mario Brothers. You made 20 bucks on your stream last night. And every stream before that, you barely made 20 bucks. There was no money in the fucking game. And that's why you quit the fucking game. You got tired and annoyed that you were playing this game and making zero fucking money. And the reason why you didn't finish Spider-Man was because, again, how many of those playthroughs you barely made 50 bucks on them on your main fucking stream? If it wasn't for one minute, man, you would be fucked. You would have because your, your, your Spider-Man streams would have been at 30 bucks uh, per stream. And that's the fucking honest truth, Phil. And you know what, Phil? I love it. I love every minute of it when you make yourself look like a fucking idiot because the internet sees this and laughs at you because you're fucking pathetic because you're the only man baby that will spend 13 minutes trying to explain to the world that you actually didn't rage quit something or try to justify why you didn't rage fucking quit something. If you're going to rage quit it, just said, yeah, I didn't feel like finishing it and be on it. You, it's something you could say in, in, a, in a one minute discussion. You don't have to spend 13 minutes trying to explain to everybody how what they saw actually didn't happen. Get the fuck out of here, you pathetic fucking loser. Anyway, I love it, folks. Uh, of course, Phil thinks that uh, Like a Dragon and Warzone will save the channel. And we all know that it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll bomb just like everything else he's been playing. And we know we've we've seen it with Modern War, Modern Modern Welfare Three. It supports already dead for that. And uh, yeah, what what's he gonna do? Go back to Street Fighter? Yeah. Good luck with that, Phil. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And let's not forget, Phil is a rage slash wage quitter. This is like what 120th game you rage quit, Phil. Good job there, Phil. Awesome job. You can't even do. You can't even be a good video game player. You suck. Peace out.